Hello, my name is Grace and welcome to this presentation where we are going to be talking a bit about the vagus nerve. Now what is the vagus nerve? Some of you may be wondering. Well the vagus nerve acts like a communication wire between the brain and the internal organs in your body. It starts with the brain and then it branches out into the throat area and then down to your torso, down to your intestines. It's sometimes called the wanderer, the wanderer nerve, that's the Latin name for it. And rightly so, because of how this nerve wanders into different areas into the body. Now, in this very short video, I want to talk about how this nerve, which branches out from the brain, is intimately connected with your digestive system. So for example, if you are stressed, if you are anxious, your digestion will suffer and that can be through constipation, diarrhea, and so on. There are times where many people have said that as soon as they feel stressed, anxious, they're going through some crazy thoughts in their minds, they may need to run to the toilet, i.e. diarrhea, or they find that they can't go to the toilet. And that's just showing how your mind affects your digestion. And it's because of this nerve, it's in disarray. It's not getting the right signals. And that's why you want to think good thoughts, positive thoughts. As the Bible rightly said, a merry heart doeth good like medicine. And many doctors are now recognizing this. They are now treating depression, PTSD, by trying to stimulate the vagus nerve, getting it to work properly. And they do this through meditation, through breathing, which we'll talk about in a moment, and just light exercise, and try and get the individuals to think happy thoughts. So your mind is crucial, your brain. If it's not working right, then the whole body, especially the digestive system, suffers. Likewise, if you don't eat right, if you're eating the wrong food combinations, if your body is not digesting food correctly, what happens? It affects your brain, again, the signals of disarray are in disarray. It's in confusion. And that again could lead to you feeling tired, a bit moody, irritated and so on. So the mind is intimately connected to the organs in your body. And that's why you wanna get it working right. I can testify to this. Now, many of you have heard how I've always complained that I don't sleep well, you know, I'm just not the best sleeper. My body sometimes feels anxious for some strange reason. And about a year ago, I went to Brother Maimon Wilson's health center, you know, to try and figure out what was wrong. And what we found out was that I have bad digestion. I kind of knew this already, but it was confirmed that I'm not assimilating my nutrients, you know. And I know that because I often get bloated when I eat and so on. And I know my body sometimes struggles to digest foods. And he was saying how that is what is affecting my sleep. So in order to get my sleep right, you know, which is so important, I have to work on my digestion. And that's through probiotics, Baking, being very careful with food combinations, um, obliterating certain foods, which can be quite good for you because I think I have leaky gut as well. So trying to work on my digestion just so my mind, my sleep, this nerve is working better. Another thing I found out, and this works amazingly, and I've heard this before, but I thought, nah, it can't really be that simple. But it really is because it works. And one of the best ways, and science is showing this, to stimulate the vagus nerve, to get you in a calm state, is through breathing. Many of us don't breathe correctly. And how you stimulate the vagus nerve to get you in a calm state, the best way is to exhale. When you exhale, you exhale all the air out of your body. You do that first. I think that works better for me. So you breathe out, all the air out, and then you breathe in slowly through your nose, and then you hold it for two seconds. So you breathe in, let's say, for four seconds. I'll just do a little demo. So you do that for like four or five times and when you breathe out, make sure you exhale all the air out. 
And when I do that, let's say, because I can't sleep throughout the night, that just doesn't work for me. I wake up every three, four hours. And when that happens, it's so hard for me to fall back to sleep. But I have been trying this the last three nights. When I've woken up, I have done this five times. And within five minutes, I fall back asleep. And that is incredible. So um, it's one of the best ways basically to stimulate the vagus nerve. That's what science is showing when the people are trying it out. And I urge you to try it out. I can't believe something so simple can work so amazingly. So I thought I should share that with you. Other ways to stimulate the vagus nerve is through meditation, Bible meditation, that's a great way. And also through hot and cold showers as well, that can help, you know, get the nervous system running and also put you in a positive mood. Cold showers are great as well. So these are simple things that you can do to enhance your well-being. Yeah.